by our new guest. No? Well, we're having a discussion about sunglasses. Yeah, I know. I'd quite like to wear them myself, actually. <laughs> good morning, Paolo. <laughs> Go on, put them on. Morning. Show on. everybody well, how you just walked off. This is Paolo Natini. Very good morning there to you. you. Proper rock star, you see. On. I was negotiating, Sally, over the yeah. sunglasses. I think he should take them off. Yeah, of course. And there. There, there you see, go. You see, you've got a lovely eyes there, Paolo. You know. There you go. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good to see you. Paolo <laughs> Natini <laughs> was just 20 when his debut album, These Streets, stormed into the charts with tracks like New Shoes, Jenny Don't Be Hasty and Last Request. After a successful second Second release, the Scottish musician took a break from the limelight. Now, four years on, he's back with Caustic Love, an album one critic has it called Perfect. Well, we'll speak to Paolo in a moment, with or without the glasses. First, let's listen to one of his new songs. It's called Scream. Paolo, very warm welcome to you. Um, you telling us Thank a little you. bit while we were watching that, about filming that, that was fun, was it? Yes, yes. Why? We went down to LA, we got a lot of different subcultures. These, um, we, the casting call was, do you, uh, are you an aspiring actress or an actor? Right. And do you consider yourself a misfit? In Los oh, Angeles, it's the And, and so unsurprisingly, there was a lot of people that considered themselves <laughs> misfits in, in Los Angeles. And, and they, aspiring actors. And wore it like a badge. Yeah. So we um, got them all in the one video and, and um, had two days of, yeah, a lot of fun. We, feel, we feel very privileged to have you here, Paolo, because of uh, your immense success. And also, because is, is, is this really, your, I get the sense this isn't necessarily your time of day. Mm. No, I'm, I was up here. I was up. I was like, oh, I was just, you know, no, no, I am. Um, uh, yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, the folk that know me, they, they don't often see me at this point. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, anyway. No, no. You said you had a bit of a story. Can you tell us? Getting here was it? Yeah, it was on a, the, the plan was to have a nice quiet night. Nice right, that was a night. good plan. Yeah. We came down here about, I don't know. We got this like seven o'clock, so mm -hmm. seven twenty train from London, and we encountered a bit of a hero. Encountered this gentleman. It was a. Uh, he was sporting a medal around his neck. Sat right. down beside us. Very quiet about it. Had that look in his face. About ask me about this medal. You know, ask me. So we asked him about it, and he just completed the marathon. Oh. And he went there with nobody. Nobody knew about it. Nobody that was like kind of with him, spurring them on. So he was, he was looking for something to celebrate with. <laughs> and he, he stumbled across the right carriage, so we ended up celebrating with this guy well into the night. And oh, he was nice. telling us about his training, uh, training for it, all these stories for it. Good stuff. Yeah, he did, he did very well. Now, the, to the album, which is um, uh, a, a change in direction, really, from the previous one. I mean, it's been a long time since, since the last one. Mm. Uh, and much more... Uh, what would you say, soul, funk stuff going on? Because I sort of caught heads of Otis Redding and Sam Cooke and yeah. Al Green. Yeah, yeah, there's, a, there's, there's bits of that. That's the, 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 a lot of the guys you just listed there were the first music that I really heard. I used to go, when I was young, my parents, they would work, you know, a lot. I'd go to my grandparents' house mm. and my, my grandfather, he was the one, on my, on my paternal grandfather, he was the one that showed me how to put the needle down on the record player. Mm. And he used to love music, he used to sing it all the time, he'd be opera music, he'd do folk music, you know, like Fast Domino, Boogie Woogie, yeah. you know, rock and roll. And yeah, he would, um, you know, he, the, 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 the earliest records I can remember were like The Drifters, or The Coasters, Sam and Dave. So sort of going back to, to those roots, if you like. Isn't yeah, it? so that's, 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 well, I've always, I, I, that's the thing, you see the songs that are on there and then you see the, hear the songs that you heard five years ago, you, there's a lot in between it. Mm -hmm. you know, We've still got a record player. Yeah, yeah, I've got my grandfather's You've same, the same it. one, I've got the same with the old Bowers and Wilkins mahogany speakers oh. and that. It's actually broken just now, but I can, I, I'm, get, I'm getting it's, it. Uh, it's, the album's been very well received, there's a really fantastic song on it called Iron Sky. Should we have listened to it? The riveting performance that you gave in Made of Air Studios. Yeah. It is actually <coughs> online, it's absolutely fantastic. But it's a, another change in direction, and it, it, it's a s serious song. It's, it's not so much political, as, there's more to it than that, isn't it? It's, 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 a, it's a curious song, more than, more than anything else. Yeah, I've got a lot of questions, I don't have a lot of answers, you know, mm. like I, I think like a lot of people. So, yeah, it's, it's a. It's a it's meant to, it's, you know, it's there to rouse, it's there to, it's there to say, um, it's, yeah, it's just there to ask a few questions that echo just a few of my confusions about what, what's, what's and happening. The power of the, and the potential power of the human spirit, would you yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, of course, to, 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 and I think it's an, uh, the, the message is to rise over love and over hate, and, and, and I think that to try and, I think if you're going to make changes, we can always, you know, have grand ideas, but I think they start at the core, they start at yourself, you know, and, mm -hmm. they, um, and they can be very simple changes, easy steps.
Um, you used Charlie Chaplin, a speech by Charlie Chaplin, mm. um, and I want to hear it. It's a Chaplin made in The Great Dictator. It's in one of the songs. We're going to have a listen to that as well. That's part of the same song, and actually listening to it, you'd, it just didn't occur to me that it was Charlie Chaplin, Chaplin, actually. Yeah, yeah, The Great Dictator. He's an amazing man. He's always, he's always had the... Um, he's always fascinated me with the, the creativity, mm. the, the capacity for his creativity. You know, a lot of people have good... A lot of people I know, they have great ideas and they have... Um, you know, a lot of notions that they want to, and they, they have all these things going through their head. He manages, you know, he directed the films, produced the films, wrote the songs, performed the songs, acted in the films. Mm. It watching, always fascinated me. Watching you perform that, it, you give an awful lot of your own emotions, it, it appears, and a huge amount of effort going into singing that. If you are singing live, you must be pretty rung out by the time you've finished, if you give every song that amount of emotional investment. Yeah, that's, that's, what, I can, that's what I have to do, right? That's, that's, that's the plan, that's the, um, I mean, that's, that's where you get, you get your moment, you get your two hours on the stage to, yeah. to get your point across, you know, and amongst everybody else that does it every night. So you have to, you have to take it. <laughs> and how much trouble are you going to be with your mum? For wearing that jumper. Yeah, the holy jumper. No, no, the, no, don't. The holy jumper. Sorry, it's not even mom. yours, is it? No, it's not, somebody left it in my house. And now and they're going to know. I loved it. I, I, think it's, I think it's just just right the way it is. Rock and roll. <laughs> well, you could see that. Paolo, nice to meet you. Thank you very thank much. You very much. Oh, thank thank you. you. Thank Paolo's you. Paolo's new album, Caustic Love, is out now. Yes, uh, right now, let's have a last look at what the weather's got in store for us. Um, Carol is here.